So now I'm going to show you how you create the different types of tests. So let's click back into Question Bank Center. And let's this time create a mathematics test for grade 10. We then click Next. And what happens here, as we saw before, is that we get the screen that tells you all the topic and content. Let's just click on the first radio button. Now we scroll down and we click Next. The next screen, remember, shows you all the questions in the test where you can put your mark allocations, do whatever you want. Now we click Next. Remember here we must put in a name, so we're going to put Test 2. And this time what I'm showing you is we're going to create an on-screen test with answers. So when you see it highlighted yellow, then you've got it correct. And then you go Save, and then it takes you to November 2011. And here you can have a look at the maths grade test that we've just made called test 2, whatever it may be. When we click on it, that will be our on-screen test, and it's really as simple as that. Let's go back to Question Bank Center. Let's go to Physical Sciences for Grade 10. We click Next, and in the same way, what happens now is our population list comes up. Let's click on the first radio button there. Let's scroll down. We're just going to make one question here. Next, there is your question. Let's scroll down. We're happy with that. We go next. Remember, give it a name. Let's call this test 3. And this time I'm going to click on print friendly with answers. So this is like a PDF document that you're making. And then you go save. Same thing again. November 2011, Physical Sciences, Grade 10, there's test 3. And this time this is a document that you can simply print. You go file and then you press print and it will print this particular test for you. It's as simple as that. Let's close down that particular test. Going back to Question Bank Center, let's go back to Maths Literacy. Let's do Grade 11 this time. We go Next. And now we're going to make up a word-based test. And this is the greatest one because you can change all your questions. Let's just click on the first item over there. And what we do now, remember we go Next. We'll call this one test four. We can put a mark allocation. Let's put a mark allocation this time of two marks. And we go down. And then we go next. And remember the name. Let's call this test number five for argument's sake. But this time we're going to click on a Word document. We're going to make a Word test with answers. Make sure it goes yellow. And you go save. November 2011. I think it was Maths Literacy Grade 11. Test five. Notice always makes a marking memorandum for you. Now when you do this, it will actually go and build the Word test for you. It will open up a Word document on your screen. And remember, once it does that, then you have a Word document that you can manipulate. Here is your actual Word document. Math Literacy Grade 11, School Name, Test 5. Here's the content. And the really nice thing about this is you can actually change everything. Type your answer. You can now put in whatever you want, and then you can save your test onto your desktop. You can say File, Save As, and then you can make up all your tests for the whole year, and you can have them as Word documents. You can change the context of those tests, and you can do whatever you want. So that really is the end of how you make up all your particular tests, whether they're PDF tests, whether they are Word document tests, or whether they are on-screen tests. It's really quite